Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you so much again for joining me in this video and if you're joining for the first time, welcome. In this video, we will look at some business expressions and these are business expressions that you might hear in a meeting or when planning meetings. So let's start. Here are 33 common business expressions. Let's kick off by looking at expressions that you might use to start a meeting or start a project. And the first one, I just gave it to you, is kick off. And this is to officially start something such as a meeting or a project. And it's originally from sports, probably soccer, football. So when they kick off, they kick the ball to start the game. So in a meeting, they might say, okay, let's kick off the meeting with some recent results. So they'll start the meeting by talking about something like some recent sales figures. Or they might say, let's kick off the project by discussing some ideas. The next one is to get the ball rolling. So let's get the ball rolling. And this is a little bit different because this has the intention of actually starting some real work, starting to make progress on the project or on in the meeting. So in the case of a project, then it's time to actually start working not just talk about it. And in the case of a meeting, uh, it's time to stop the small talk. Uh, people have finished saying hello. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's look at some presentations or some results, etc. To get the ball rolling, Jerry will show us the latest sales figures. We'll get the ball rolling by doing some research on consumer demand. So they're actually starting the work on the project. Now get down to business and this is similar to get the ball rolling, but it's a little more serious. So let's get down to business. Let's start looking at the project or at the meeting seriously. So we need to start doing actual work and focusing on something. And this might be said at the beginning of a meeting when everyone has arrived and said hello, then they might get down to business. Okay, everyone's here now. Let's get down to business. Getting down to business. How are the numbers looking for this month? So they're going to start focusing on things more seriously, looking at the numbers, looking at the figures. Now to get something off the ground, so we can get a job, a business, or some kind of project off the ground. And this means to get something started after doing the talking and planning. In the case of a business, to get a business off the ground, you would look at hiring people, you would also look at the costs or how to get funding, etc. To get the project off the ground, we'll need to draw up some estimates. Draw up means to look at something closely, maybe do some research and put it into a document. When can you expect to get the project off the ground? Now during a meeting, you might talk about the fiscal year or the financial year. Maybe you've heard of this one before. I think it's used a lot in business. This can be different to the calendar year and is different in different countries. And it's the year that they use in a business for the tax, for accounting, etc. For example, in Australia, the fiscal year or financial year is from July 1st until June 30th. In the US, it's from October 1st to September 30th. And in the UK, it's from April 6th to April 5th. And in a meeting, you might talk about things like expenses, taxes, budgets, earnings, etc. in relation to the fiscal or financial year. This has been a good month. How are we looking in fiscal year 2023? Well, they might say fiscal 2023 as well. We'll need all of the receipts by the end of the financial year. Another common one I'm sure you've heard of is R&D or research and development. And this refers to the process of developing, evaluating and improving products, technologies and procedures before they are released to the market. And you might also hear the term an R&D department. We need to invest more in R&D to keep up with our competitors. The key to the new product success is in the R&D stage. So the R&D, research and development stage, is the most important part of the project for its success. 
The next one is a golden opportunity and this is a really good chance to achieve success or achieve a particular goal. The current economic climate presents a golden opportunity. It's a golden opportunity to launch our new service. Now up in the air, so up in the air. This is when there have been no decisions made, often because things are uncertain due to lack of information, etc. We don't know when we'll start. Everything's still up in the air. The meeting dates are still up in the air. So we don't know when the meeting will be. We don't, we haven't made that decision yet. Now on the drawing board, and this is the stage when the project is being planned. It's on the drawing board. At the moment, everything is on the drawing board. So we haven't planned anything really yet. All ideas, we are open to all ideas. We will accept, we will think about all ideas. The project is still on the drawing board, so we don't have an estimate yet. And we had on the drawing board, now we have go back to the drawing board. And this is when we start from the beginning because a project or an idea has not been successful. So we have to start from the beginning or go back to an original idea. And you might often hear, let's go back to the drawing board. Nothing, wo nothing worked, let's go back to the drawing board. I think it's time to go back to the drawing board and look at other ideas. Now to land a deal, and this means to be successful, to achieve a deal, or to get a contract, etc. It's really important that we land the next deal. So maybe business has not been good, so the next deal is very important. It needs to be successful. Do you think you can land the deal? So maybe your boss will ask you this when you're going to talk to some clients, etc. A ballpark figure. Or we can also say a ballpark number. And this is a rough estimate or a rough cost of a job, of a project, etc. I need to get a ballpark figure before I can agree. As a ballpark number, we had about $2 million in sales. Not going to fly. This is when an idea or proposal is not going to be accepted or approved. I don't think that idea will fly with the boss. So the boss, we don't think the boss will like that idea. I liked the proposal, but it didn't fly with investors. So it was a good proposal, but the investors didn't like it. A similar one is not going to go down well. This is when something is not going to be liked or appreciated. So for example, uh, sales figures with your boss, if they are bad sales figures, they won't go down well or maybe costs with a client, etc. We are behind schedule. It's not going to go down well with the boss. The increase in costs are not going to go down well with the client. So they are not going to like the increase in costs, of course. Next is to tackle a problem. And this means to deal with a problem, to try to solve a problem or fix a problem. We need to tackle the problem before the next meeting. If you have any problems, we can tackle them together as a team. Be on top of something. And this means to be dealing with a situation or controlling a situation so that you can achieve success. We had some initial problems, but now we're on top of them. I've been really busy, but I'm getting on top of it. Next is catch up on something. And this means to do work that you couldn't do previously, usually because you were too busy. I'll stay late today to catch up on some work. I should catch up on my emails before lunch. So before you have lunch, you're going to finish looking at your emails, finish writing your emails or reading them. Okay, now bring to the table. And this means to give or provide some skills or experience to a meeting, to a project, etc. So we need someone who can bring some marketing experience to the table. So we need someone with some marketing experience. They will be very useful for the project, etc. What do you bring to the table? So maybe at a job interview, they might ask, oh, what do you bring to the table? What can you do for us? How can you benefit our business or company? Now, to think outside the box, or sometimes to think outside of the box. This means to think in a creative and often unusual or unique way 
to solve a problem or to think about a project, etc. We'll need to think outside of the box to come up with some new ideas. Our usual marketing strategies aren't working. We need to think outside the box. Our strategies means our plans, the way we are doing something. Now, learn the ropes. This means to learn how to do a job. So, especially when you have no experience in that situation. So this might be used when you start a new job or when you're learning a new skill, etc. I love my new job, but I'm still learning the ropes. Now, learning the ropes, we can also say teaching the ropes when you're receiving advice or receiving help about a new, learning a new skill or a job, etc. My coworkers have all been helping teach me the ropes. So maybe I've just started my job. They're all trying to help me learn how to do the job. Now, if you are learning the ropes or at a new job, there might be a learning curve. And we use this to describe the, the progress that someone is making when they're learning a new job or a new skill, the learning curve. Often we say a steep learning curve, so it's maybe difficult to learn or you have to learn very quickly. It's a steep learning curve. It's a steep learning curve, but we can do it. So it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's going to be difficult to learn, but we can do it. So maybe like learning English, it's a steep learning curve, but I know you can do it. My new job is interesting, but there's a steep learning curve. Now, when we talk about arranging events or uh, organizing meetings, etc., you might pencil something in. This means to set a tentative date or time for a, a meeting or an event, etc. So tentative just means it's not totally decided yet. We can still change it. So it's not a definite plan. Okay, let's pencil in next Friday for lunch. Can we pencil the meeting in for tomorrow morning? Okay, so we would like to have the meeting tomorrow morning, but we haven't definitely decided yet. Now, when talking about a project, you might talk about meeting a deadline, and that's to finish a project, task, job, etc. by the planned time. We're going to have to work overtime to meet the deadline. It's vital that we meet this deadline. Or when everything is going well in the project, we might say it's on schedule. And that's when a project or a task is being done according to the time and there are no delays. So everything is going smoothly. It's on schedule. If we work hard, we'll still be on schedule to finish this month. Are we on schedule with the new project? So your boss might ask you this. Are we on schedule with the new project? We also have according to schedule. And this is when a project is progressing as planned. So similar to on schedule. Everything looks good. The project is going according to schedule. If everything goes according to schedule, we can finish next week. You might notice we usually say go. Go according to schedule. It's going according to schedule. Now, when things are not good, you might be behind schedule. And this means when a project, a task, etc., is not going according to the planned time, so you'll probably finish it late. We'll need to put in some overtime. We're behind schedule, so you'll have to work very hard to catch up. Make sure we don't fall behind schedule. We need to finish this on time. Hopefully, you're not behind schedule, but you're ahead of schedule. And this is when a project or a task is going to be finished ahead of the planned time. So you'll finish quicker than planned. The manager was really happy to hear that we were ahead of schedule. If we complete the project ahead of schedule, we might get a nice bonus. That would be good. Now, let's talk about communication in a meeting or with a project. You might give someone a heads up. And this means to tell them or warn them about something so that they can prepare for it. So often something very serious or maybe some bad news, etc. If anything goes wrong, give me a heads up. So maybe your manager or your boss or your team leader might say this. Give me a heads up. Can you give me a heads up when you set a time for the meeting? In a meeting, you might also get or bring someone up to speed. And this means to give them the latest information about something. So about the project, about the sales figures, etc. I'd like you to get up to speed on the new project. So someone needs to get up to speed 
but another person can help them, they can bring them up to speed. John will help bring you up to speed, so John will tell you the information. Importantly, we need to keep somebody in the loop, so the loop is like a circle, like the community that you communicate with. And this means to make sure somebody has the most current information about something. Keep me in the loop about our future clients. You'll need to keep all the team in the loop about your new results. So everyone's expecting the new results, so please tell everyone in the team when you have the new results. Keep them in the loop. And before we proceed, before we go ahead with something, it's important we are all on the same page. This means that we all have the same ideas, same understanding about something, so we all agree with something. Let's make sure we're on the same page. Now that we're on the same page, we can start looking at funding. So we all agree with the ideas, how the project should proceed, should go ahead. Now we can start looking at funding, how we get the money for the project. The next one I'm sure you've all heard, ASAP, as soon as possible. And this means to get something as quickly as you can, or to do something as quickly as you can. Can you call her back, ASAP? So she called, it was very important, so please call her back quickly. Please call her back as soon as possible, ASAP. I'll need those sales figures ASAP. And the final one, so finally, if something is really important and I really need it, but it's already maybe a bit late, I need it yesterday. Of course, not literally yesterday, but it means I should have had it by now. Where is it? So your boss might say, where are those sales figures? I need them yesterday. Note here we don't say, I needed them yesterday, because we're not talking about yesterday. It's an expression. I need them yesterday. I need it yesterday. Meaning I want it right now. I thought you had finished the report. I need it yesterday. So imagine I have a very important meeting. I need to show that report at the meeting. Where is it? I don't have it. I need it yesterday. I need it right now. That's it. That's all 33 expressions. Thank you, as always, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you could learn a lot from it. I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.